Hi everybody! In this fifth lesson, we will show you how to add the IF instruction in a Python program in order to evaluate a condition and, according to this evaluation, execute the appropriate instruction. To understand more, let us take the following example. I create a dialogue to input two grades, calculate the average, and then display if the average is greater than or less than 10. Let us begin by creating the dialog. N1 equals input. Type the first grade. N2 equals input. Type the second grade. AV equals N1 plus N2 divided by 2. Print the average is AV. Let us save the program and run it. We notice that after typing the two grades, an error is displayed on the screen. This is due to the fact that Python does not recognize numerical values unless you add for each input the property INT means integer. So let us go back to the program and modify it by adding the INT before the input instruction as shown on the screen. Now run the program again and see how it is working properly. By now, we can proceed to add the IF instruction. Write IF AV greater than equals 10. Print the average is greater than 10. Else, print, the average is less than 10. In Python, when you type colon at the end of the if instruction, an automatic indentation is made. Do not change it, since it explains that all the indented instructions are related to the if command, in case the condition is valid. I mean, if the average is greater than 10. Same technique is applied for the else. Go to a new line, go back one indentation, and write the else, and write the else instruction, followed by colon. You notice that an automatic indentation is made under the else instruction. Now, write the print command as shown on the screen. Launch the MU editor and create the program that asks the user to input two numbers and to display which number is greater. We hope that this tutorial was a help for you. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and do not forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram in order to access to additional educational resources.